Welcome to Chicago on a rainy, rainy morning as we bring you the review of the Chevy Sonic uh, from the GM brand. Good morning, this is Mrs. Nichols from Household of Nichols and we're going to be hosting a short review. Sorry, that's Mr. Twizzler, uh, little Mr. Twizzler um, singing in the background. And of course, I'm not driving while recording. There's Mr. Nichols, we're on his, on his way to work. Right. Uh, we're dropping him off. We're going to give you a quick rundown of the Sonic, um, starting in the front drivers and passenger sides, and then going to the back. <laughs> it's going to be a very quick review um, because of the compactness of the car. However, do not let the small nature fool you. It's a very powerful car, and it can go a very, very long way. Kind of like me. Haha. <laughs> okay. There is the uh, driver's side, and there's the dashboard. Essentially, we are going a whopping 20 miles per hour on the 290 on our way to take him to work. Um, this is basically your central uh, location for all information. How many miles uh, you have to the gas or tank of gas in your car. The odometer, um, how many miles have been put on the car. What gear you're in, which is a big B and what direction you are tra traveling if you are directionally challenged. Fortunately, I am not, so that's not of uh, great use to me unless I go out of town. Um, there's also the tank, and it shows you how uh, much gas you have in the tank, and then, of course, the RPMs and everything like that. Um, the door, which has all of the windows. You can lock the windows. You can adjust the mirrors and everything. Um, the radio section. You can also dock your MP3 players, iPods, uh, cell phones, PDAs. Do people still use PDAs? Um, basically everything there. The radio station that goes to XM, um, AM and FM. And we have the uh, temperature area and also the unlock and locking area for the doors. Uh, the hazard lights, the gear shift, all of the room that I have in the passenger side, and I think I am um, actually pulled up pretty far, so that lets you know how short I am. Here is a docking station for an MP3 player or an iPod or an iPad. It is not a charging station. What you can do is use the USB port to hook your MP3 player into your radio, so you can play music directly from your um, handheld MP3 and have it in the in the car if you don't like the music on the radio today. And how many of us really do? The glove compartment that nobody ever keeps gloves in. The doors, it has a bit of storage. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing for a family as large as ours because we can pretty much stuff doors full of random paper and things. Uh, power locks, power windows, however, it is not power seating. So you do have to pull up or, you know, to adjust your seating. Um, it can fit all three of the smallest nickels. Uh, that's Sir Twizzler, Little Miss Twizzler, and the Ladybug. And then the trunk space is back there. I will give you a closer shot of it. Uh, it does have a privacy screen over it right now. Um, it's not large enough for uh, luggage for all of us. However, it is large enough to put the groceries in. Um, we put a large diaper bag and two large boxes back there, um, and it was perfect. It was a perfect size. I'm pretty sure you can pull the privacy screen up and then stack stuff on top, but of course, we all know that's not safe driving. That's about it. Uh, we did only spend about roughly $30 to fill up the tank. Uh, it probably would have taken $40, which is still fantastic for us, and we would have been able to travel... Um, a little bit over 300 and something odd miles. Uh, was there anything that you like about the car, particularly, sir? It handles well. Extremely well. Does it really? It took a, a curve at like 65. Are you uh, supposed to say that on video? We wanted highway at the time, <laughs> so it was a speed limit. Uh, uh, what did our friend Miss Connie Burke from GM let us know about the uh, engine? That it was created by the same people who did the Corvette. Okay. 
what my wife just said. You don't remember that? I was not in that conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mr. Nichols is not as good as uh, gleaning info from conversations happening a couple of feet from him like us women are. That is correct. Um, but you do it's comfortable drive, even though you're five nine and three quarters. <laughs> it is interesting. Not. Uh, it, it is interesting. Would you be able to last for our family road trips that we normally take? It depends on the length of the trip. So not Houston? No. <laughs> we'll tell you the well, Houston story one day. If I maybe if I had the car seat behind me, I can only pull back so far. Okay. Uh, so my knees, and my legs are. Oh, at the steering wheel. So maybe if the ladybug was behind you, you'd be able to last I'd, a little I'd bit longer. Be able to last a little bit okay. Longer. Is it enough leg room there? For now, yeah. I mean, it, for it, short trips. It, yeah, it's not bad. It's just uh, I'm sure I want to stretch a little bit uh, further, it, given the the length of a, of a trip. Okay. So for our trip on Monday, were you comfortable in the passenger side? By the way, oh, I yeah. drove. No, that was good. Which is uh, not normal for me to drive a full trip by myself. And I didn't fall asleep in the passenger side either, which is fantastic. Okay, so if you have any questions or you feel like I didn't um, show a particular portion of the car, you can ask a question down below in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer it. Until later on, this is the House Full of Nickels. Wishing you a very, very happy Wednesday. We want you to make a fantastic day. And if you're in Chicago, we want you to even enjoy the rainy weather. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.